G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Hour of Install. Now this week, we're back on, on the Mighty Pride. I was about to say we're back. But we are, yeah, we're back on it. We have done a couple of products for it, my bad. We're back on the Mighty Prada. Now this beast here. <laughs> so what happens with this Toyota's is, you know, oh, what a feeling, and they just fall apart. And anyways, we'll just shimmy that back up there for a minute to finish the part of the story that goes in there. Don't worry about that bit. <laughs> What we're doing is we're going to show you how to install the bash plates for this thing. The first thing you've got to do here is grab yourself guilty pleasure, beer, whatever the hell it is, water, I don't care. Get a guilty pleasure because the pirate guards will give you a crap install. Otherwise, cheers, legends. This is a good drop. Now, this week, I'm back on the um, South Coast Pale Ale, Pirate Life. It's the way we like it. Now, over here is our bash plates. So first thing we're going to get into, this is our signature color, the Picton Green for the bash plates. We're also going to offer these in black as well. So you can either have them in picked in green or black. Very, very durable powder coat, nice and hard. So you're going to get yourself one, two, three plates, plus two of these ice creams. <laughs> two of them bad boys, which you'll find out what they're for later. Now, difference to notice in ours as well. We've, we've gone and added this little cover plate here. We've hidden the bolt, the bolt heads on the inside so they can't get damaged. So you're going to be able to just pop that off and do your oil changes instead of pulling two of the plates off. Make that a little bit easier. So, next step, we'll come over, pardon me, get the burps on. We'll come over here and we'll pick up our bit of plastic. That was like this. And there's a few, because there's a series of clips in here that you need to undo. I've already undone, well, actually one of my guys did. Bro. You broke them all. <laughs> he broke half of them, so I didn't bother putting them back in, so hell to mess with. So you're gonna pull that piece out. There's a couple along here. You'll be able to see where they come out. Piece of piss. So the clips look like, here we go. Here's one that's not broken. So they look like that. So they're gonna be like this, nice and flat. You're gonna have to get in there and dig under them with a screwdriver, a flat blade screw. Let me grab one out and show you. So you're gonna have to get under there and just work your way around it to try and pop it. It can be quite painful. See how it's got it up then? And you can probably get in there with some pliers and rip it out because they're a pain in the There we go, got him. So you need to get it halfway out so the mushroom will close in and you'll be able to pull that out. And then you'll be able to pull that out there. So that's it out. So pretty easy to get out. They're not easy, they're actually a pain in the ass to get out those ones. But if you get a pulling tool with the two little prongs on it, which I don't think I, I think my one's got to walk about, which is probably why they didn't use it. Yeah. All right, so my good pulling tools have gone walk about. They're in one of these cars somewhere. But if you've got one with two prongs and you can just get under it and dink, and just leave it up, it'd be a lot easier than that with a screwdriver. Or two screwdrivers, dink. So, moving forward, now that's off, you've seen me work real hard to get out of the way, we can just get rid of that because we don't need it now. I don't know if you need it. Oh yeah, sorry, you, you will need that again, sorry. I'm not gonna run it because I'm putting a ball bar in here soon. But we've taken that off because our plate's gonna come back up here and you'll see and you can put it back on, but Next step, we're gonna grab ourselves a 12 mil socket. This is our front plate here and our back plate. So I didn't do the back one back up. I didn't think I'd done the front one up. So we'll undo the bolt. There's one here. There's one here. Now you're gonna, don't lose these because you need a couple of these factory ones to reuse them for the uh, install. We've got one over here as well. So there's, there's four bolts in this front plate. Make sure you brace it up. Ah, there we go. So we won't be reusing this one. So that one can go to the scrap bin. Where's that bolt I dropped? Pick that one back up. Next one down here is also the same size. You're gonna need a long socket or an extension for this one because you've got quite a bit of depth there. You can see you've got about, I don't know, 40 mil. That one. Now um, we should be able to. Did we put more bolts in? We did, didn't we? Yeah, there. And 
We don't need that one either. So, that's those ones out of the way. Now, I didn't listen to a single word that I was told about how to put these in and what sequence to put them in. I was kind of listening, to be fair. I was, like, I was listening a little bit, but I actually wasn't listening all that much. So, that's gonna be the front one. I'm pretty sure I can put that one on first. And then that one, and then that one. And that one slots in there. So I'm gonna put that on, but I'm gonna have them loose. Then that one can slot in. Then that one will bolt up, and then that one will slot in behind. Yeah, okay, cool. Easy. Peace, peace. All right. <sighs> Wish me luck. First, I don't, I don't even, I should have looked at them on, but I really didn't pay enough attention. I just looked at, oh, they look pretty. That's good, everything's clear as well. So next step, big boy here is jump the gun. We're gonna pull one more piece off. So see these little pieces here? These are coming off to put the bash plates on. So bash plates are gonna actually act as these little supports again. We don't need them. Ah, all right. Now we got them off. So those are a 14 mil socket too, by the way. I'm sorry, I stitched you up there. So they had to come off. Now, the next step we're gonna do is grab, a, I'm gonna reuse a couple of these ones, I believe, to put them back on. So next step is we're gonna bolt this thing up. So it obviously goes that way with your pirate scale looking pretty. And we're gonna put it up here. We're gonna bolt it back where we just pulled those little braces out from. So where you pulled the front bolt for those little braces that it's pulled out, the front one's gonna go back in there. And we're gonna reuse the factory bolt. So, Now, if you're gonna run the bumper, you'll be able to put that plastic thing back in. I'll show you why in a minute. So I'll do this. This is really more awkward than I gave credit. So if you're, gonna re if you're gonna keep your bumper on and you're not gonna run ball bar or any of that, this bit here, the plastic we just took back out, you can actually put back in here as well if you need to make it. It's a wish. Now, where are me? Where are me other bolts? Need 13. 13. Actually. Oh, I'm bloody loud here. You know, I haven't. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh man, I need a bloody extension. That's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. See? I can be in straight on. Right, so I've just put the two eight mil bolts that I had in there, which are the new ones that we supply you. They've gone up through there and obviously lined back up. But now I've left it a little bit, little bit um, hanging down because the next plate that goes in is actually gonna slide in there as well. If you haven't watched one of our installs before, the number one thing we do when we're bolting something up is we don't actually tighten everything up until we've got everything in. Because if you start tightening things up and things are gonna join to each other, you might pull it on the piss and you can't bolt the other one up. So everything's got to be nice and loose and you bolt it up and then you can tighten it up. Um, so the next plate is that one over there. Now there's a whole heap of kits these days available. King Chrome, SP Tools, by Total Tools brand, TTI, all these guys are doing these cool little socket kits. They're like 200 bucks and stuff and they come with like little, all you need for this is a little 3 8 one. Perfect for what you're trying to do here. We're gonna slot this bad boy in here how I left it down before. So you see we've got a couple of open slot tabs there. So we're just gonna drop them in on the back of those other bolts that are there. So you can see now, I can just hold the back. And we're gonna push this up and if you see here on this cross member, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a hole. There's a hole there. That's where this is gonna line up and there's obviously nowhere for it. So I've got this slot nut here. Now that's what we call a slot nut. We've gotta try and feed this in and line him up with where we're going to. This is like a, the gentle progress. Yes. 
So you've got to do this, and you've got to hope and you've got him somewhat in the right spot. And put your finger on on the inside, try and line him up, and then just be like, da -da -da, and get him started. But again, we need to leave that down because we're going to slide the other one into there. And do the same thing again over here, nice and easy. Feed in from there. Look under here, oh, yep, we're going to line up. And then we're going to go and do the same to get him started. Perfect. Now I've got room there to slot the last one on. Now the last one's a little tricky one. Now I'm putting everything in my pocket because I'm standing up. Now if you're doing this on the driveway at home or in your garage, it's a lot better than what I'm doing. Obviously you need to jack it up. Now, now remember this, here's a good tip here. If you jack this vehicle up to get under it, jack stands or a bloody set of car ramps to drive up. Don't ever jack it up then hop under it because if you do that, if something happens while you're under that jack will fall over, you're squashed, you're done. So make sure you jack stands or ramps because you will get done. It may not the first time, but it will happen one day. I know someone it happened too, so make sure you jack stands or car ramps. Don't want to hear that anyone's done the opposite. Or if you're lucky enough and you've got a good lift, you can get straight under it, but otherwise, jack stands or car ramps. All right, so we've got this plate now. Same thing, open end, slotted tabs, holes. So you know where this one's going. Same deal. We slot that one in there. Now he's hanging nice and easy for me. So, got me ice cream. <laughs> got me bolt. So, you'll see back here we've got this big hole and the little hole where we're gonna line up to. So I'm just gonna feed this in. Can you see that there? We could slot that straight in here. And now I can line him up. Because this one's a bit harder than the other one with the slot nut. Oh, I'm gonna need a longer bolt. I'm gonna need a longer bolt for this one. Okay, so everyone just chill. I gotta get longer bolts. <laughs> okay, so I've got to get some longer bolts. So for this back one, you're gonna need to use the longer ones. If I can line this up. Like so. Anyway, so you're gonna have some, you're gonna have some longer bolts than this. So the really, really long eight mil bolts you have in there, which would be about that long, are gonna be the ones you use for these ice creams because I ain't got long enough bolts. So I've just found out. And again, the same over here. For ha. Well, they might be long enough, but yeah, same, 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 but different. Okay, so now everything's bloody, everything's pretty well in, lined up. We're just gonna go back through, have a look at the way everything's sitting, make sure it's all sitting good. You know, we don't want your bash plate to be on the piss, so we're gonna line all these up, gonna line everything up here, make sure, because everything's got a little bit of play in the slots, right? So you wanna straighten everything up, make sure it looks pretty. Everything looks pretty straight now. So we can go ahead and we can actually tighten this thing up. It's looking pretty, not bad. I'll rip him out. So you can see now, with those lollipops in there, when I tighten this, they're actually designed, they'll flick around, they'll catch on the inside, and allow you to tighten it up. Go to here. And this was still these ones. I was like, did I put a nut in there? I did. I made the bolt. Oh, I hear pizza. Now I need to get up one size to this bad boy. And then we'll be done. God damn, why me? Why does this happen to me all the time? Ugh. You know what that is? So I've been drinking enough beer. It's be hydrated legends. Mmm. Gotta love that drop. Righto. <laughs> and that's it. 
Righto, it's not easy, legends. That is a wrap on this video. Takes you about, look, to be fair, it's gonna probably take you 15 minutes to install. Maybe a touch longer getting the plastic clips out. Allow for half hour just to be safe. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty easy, not too bad. Now, this is gonna be also available in our everyday touring range or our Mad Max, so if you missed it at the start, we're gonna have picked in green, which is our signature color, or black. So this is obviously picked in green now. Also gonna be available in Everyday Tourer, which is our three mil mild steel. So the idea of that is, if you're just doing a bit of beach driving, you're just sort of cruising, towing the caravan, and you're not really doing a lot of hardcore wheeling, you wanna sort of keep a few sticks in that out, perfect for you. But if you're gonna get into a bit of wheeling, you know, go hit Cape York and do a lot of other wild things, glassy and things like that, Coffs Harbor and Wadigans and all that, you're gonna to wanna to get the Mad Max, which is our four mil stainless range. That's designed to be, take a heap of beatings. Now they will always bend and deflect and all that sort of stuff, but that's what they do, that's their job. Their job is to bend and cop a beating, then you take them off and put a new one on and it protects what's underneath the car. So that way you can still get through your trip safely. Righto, now, if you really, really like this product, legends, down below in the description is gonna be a link over to our webpage. That's where you're gonna find this product and you can find a whole heap of other badass products for the Prado. Now, if you've just joined us and this is like, the, we just dropped this video, we got a heap of cool Prado content coming in the next two months, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you really, really like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, hit the little notification button because it makes a huge difference, legends. And of course, if you really like this content, you might like this one here or you might like that one over there. Now, if you're also looking for some off-road wheeling content, a bit of fun and a laugh, make sure you head over to Pirate Campco TV so you can find all our shenanigans over there. Righto, legends, we'll see you next week. Ooh, and thanks for the support.